Hello, I'm Ty Mason from the DiabetesCouncil.com, researcher, writer, and I have type 2 diabetes. Today I'm going to answer the question, what is A1C? But before we get into that, make sure you download my free diabetes management book, which also includes a diabetes grocery shopping guide, foods to eat and avoid, by clicking the link below. As a person with diabetes, there are certain terms and tools we all need to know about in order to keep our blood sugar under control. One of those terms is A1C. Now, A1C is used not only to diagnose diabetes, but also used as an indicator to help manage diabetes. The A1C test is basically a blood test that provides information about a person's average levels of blood glucose over the past three months. The A1C test is sometimes called the hemoglobin A1C, the HbA1C, or glycohemoglobin test. Now specifically, the A1C test measures the percentage of your hemoglobin that is coated with sugar. Hemoglobin is a protein in the red blood cells that carries oxygen. And if you have a high A1C, then you aren't controlling your blood sugar very well because that sugar is coating the protein in your blood. This has the potential to cause more diabetic-related problems. Where the A1C is a better indicator of how you're controlling your blood sugar over simply testing once or twice a day is that the A1C looks at your average blood glucose level 24-7 over a three-month period. You may take your levels at the same time each day, say, as soon as you get out of bed. Your blood sugar reading may be 120 or even better. But as the day goes on, your levels may increase with the consumption of meals, lack of exercise, and other factors. You're under the impression you have a good control on your diabetes, when in reality, you are not. The A1C is a percentage of the average blood glucose level. It's measured in milligrams per deciliter, and for someone without diabetes, your A1C would be about 5.7 or below. When the A1C test is used to diagnose diabetes, an A1C level of 6.5 or higher on two different tests will yield a diagnosis of diabetes. A result between 5.7 and 6.4 would give a diagnosis of prediabetes. This means a high risk of developing the disease. If you have diabetes, your health care provider will more than likely give you a goal to reach concerning your A1C. Usually around 7 is considered a good A1C for someone with type 2 diabetes. A good way to think of your A1C test is a tool in your diabetes arsenal to help you control and improve your diabetes care habits. This information will hopefully help you stay focused to reach your goals in your diabetes self-care. I hope this answered your question, what is A1C? Don't forget to get your diabetes management book by clicking the link in the description box below. And as always, if you have any other diabetes-related questions, be sure to let me know. Thanks for watching. I'm Ty Mason.